Next panel discussion, urban development leveraging data analytics and digital technologies to enhance citizen experience. Let me quickly invite on the stage Dr. Inder Gopal, Chief Executive Officer, India Urban Data Exchange. Dr. Inder Gopal. So uh, this session would be conducted by Dr. Inder Gopal, a renowned expert in the field of urban administration, who is the CEO of India Urban Data Exchange. So uh, good afternoon. Uh, I hope you all had a nice lunch and uh, ready for some exciting uh, discussion. We have a wonderful panel uh, that we've assembled. And uh, the topic really is to try to understand how data and data analytics uh, can really help, and in fact, not just help, but transform many industries, and particularly in the urban sector. Right? focus, of course, in the urban sector, but we'll see maybe there are other sectors also that where data can play a role, and uh, we may allude to those. So uh, let me just very briefly um, um, introduce myself and, you know, give a little bit of background and, you know, we may say, well, wh why is this guy, um, you know, lecturing to us? I mean, you know, give a little bit of background on what I've done in this sector and give you some ideas of uh, uh, my experiences. Um, so I am um, I'm actually a research prof I'm a professor at uh, Indian Institute of Science, uh, but my main job is to run something that we call the India Urban Data Exchange. Right, so I don't know how many of you may have heard of this. It's called IUDX for short. And uh, what it is is basically a platform, a data sharing platform to allow data to be shared within, within cities. Right? and eventually uh, in other sectors as well. And the, the, uh, the motivation for this, I'll give you a little bit of an anecdote and then uh, you know, tell you maybe for two minutes what it does. Um, the, the anecdote is that you know, um, uh, I was talking to uh, Mr. Kunal Kumar, who's the head of the, the, the Smart City Mission, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, and he was kind of relaying to me kind of a, a, um, a, a meeting that he had recently with a, with, uh, this is about three and a half years ago, so, you know, at that time, uh, a meeting he had had with a municipal commissioner. I will not name the city, but the uh, municipal commissioner said to him, hey, you know, I have, um, I have a wonderful police department, I have fire department, I have a hospital system. All of them are collecting all this wonderful data. They have sensors, they have all kinds of different um, information that is coming in. And what I wanted to do was have a coordinated citywide emergency management system, right? Which takes data which from the police, from the fire department, from the hospital, puts it together, and in the event of some emergency, you know, say, um, uh, I don't know, natural disaster, or have, heaven forbid, if, you know, say a terrorist attack, you can have a coordinated response by coordinating all these different uh, emergency response uh, units. And, uh, you know, the IT department said, oh, no, that's not possible. It's not possible because, you know, one vendor is running one system, another vendor is running another system. Uh, in fact, the police department doesn't even know what the fire department has in terms of data, the, likewise the other way around. Uh, the hospital system is running on some completely different uh, uh, platform. There's the sharing and creating a unified application which goes across these different um, uh, sectors in the city is not possible. And, um, and that, that was kind of an eye-opener, right? And it said, look, maybe there's something new that's needed. And, you know, if you go and ask uh, a, a, um, um, somebody who's building systems for um, corporate world, for, enter for companies, They'll say, oh, build a data warehouse. Take all the data, put it into a big data warehouse, then you can do everything you want. But then that, that, that violates the, the ability for the individual agencies to control their own data, right? So centralization of data is not the solution. So, so that's when we came up with this idea of a data exchange, right? And it's not necessarily a new idea, but I think we took it a couple of steps further you know, working with the ministry, and we created this thing called India Urban Data Exchange that really allows you, firstly, to find the data. What data is there? You know, and so you have a catalog of data, then you can, you can control the flow of data. It's not open data. Nobody wants to just give their data away. So you want to get 
you want to control who gets the data. So it controls the data. And then it translates all the data into a common form so you can understand the data. And um, this has been deployed now in, in 18 cities and uh, with lots and lots of use cases and examples, uh, which uh, you know, maybe we can talk about later. But um, so that, that's sort of my background. So I've seen the way, you know, we have, we have seen so many examples, right? You know, in, in Varanasi, for example, uh, the cost of uh, garbage collection has been reduced by 30%, right, using, using the system. You know, uh, exciting things have happened in Pune, you know, and maybe, maybe uh, uh, Dr. Kolte might talk a little bit about it. Um, you know, lo lo so many cities we've done uh, the very interesting, exciting things. So, so, so that's my background. That's sort of the, the context that I come from.